Well, let's continue with Day of the African Child. And we're joined live in studio by John and Jocker, Pan-African Child Rights Governance Program Manager with Save the Children East Africa. Welcome to Africa Live. Thank you. Now, I just wanted to expand a little on what exactly the situation is of the African child. What is the reality of the average child in Africa? Oh, the reality of the African child in Africa, particularly as we celebrate the Day of African Child, is, uh, is very bad in terms of violations of the rights of the child. In the African Charter, which is uh, the basis of the celebration today, we focus on four areas, that is survival, issues to do with health care, nutrition, then education, which comes under development rights, and then we have protection and participation. In all these uh, rights, there is a massive violation of the rights. For example, girls getting married at a very early age, uh, not being able to attend school, uh, and even when girls and boys attend school, transition to secondary school is very low, uh, sometimes as low as uh, 40%, and the consequence is very high wastage, uh, which is not good for, for countries. Then also you have a lot of children who do not have uh, good care, like children in the streets, uh, children who are uh, suffering disabilities uh, of different types, not just physical, but also mental, uh, hearing disabilities and others. But also you have a situation of children being violated, uh, like the so, so much discussed issue of female genital mutilation, and female genital cutting, uh, mainly which then uh, makes children uh, behave like adults or expect them to behave like adults at a very early age. Yes, these children are supposed to be to be to be in school, and uh, because today we are talking about uh, uh, child-friendly, uh, quality, uh, free and compulsory education, I think it's good to recognize that uh, since schooling is where children should be. Uh, in Africa, we still have a situation where many children are not going to school and uh, because of uh, 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 circumstances that can be corrected. Uh, circumstances, for example, of teacher, teacher, teacher uh, availability, infrastructure like classrooms, books and such like uh, issues. So a way to go in terms of the development around the education system, but in general, where has Africa gone wrong in terms of protecting those rights and what needs to be done? Uh, the main uh, issue is uh, not uh, walking the talk. We, we, we ratify conventions and we, we make laws and policies, but most African countries do not go into implementation. And some of the main issues here is a question of allocation of resources, uh, uh, but also moving policy from national level to uh, lower levels, like county levels, district levels. Uh, and, and, and also involving all actors in terms of implementing uh, those policies. For example, involving parents and communities in education uh, provision, because usually you find that uh, 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 children may want to go to school, but they may lack parental support. And uh, if parent, parents do not uh, monitor the way children are learning, then it becomes a, a problem. But also besides education, you have other barriers, like uh, 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 protection of children from violence which makes children sometimes fear school, for example, in the case of corporal punishment. There are countries like Kenya, uh, who have uh, even Zanzibar, who have uh, uh, pronouncements against corporal punishment, but they still, those practices continue being there because of problem of enforcement. Unfortunately, we'll have to leave it there. I'm sure a lot of ground to cover in terms of those rights being protected on uh, Africa, Day, Africa Day of the Child. Thanks very much for joining us here at uh, Africa Live. We're speaking there to John and Jocker with uh, Save the Children East Africa.